Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be creating an origami tiger hiding in the jungle. We will create an origami head for our tiger, and then draw the background, paws, and tail. For this project, you will need two pieces of paper, a pencil, eraser, black marker, glue stick, scissors, and whatever coloring supplies you have at home. Let's start by making the tiger head. Our paper is rectangular and we need to turn it into a square. So we're going to take the bottom edge of our paper and we're going to line it up with the right edge of our paper. This is going to make a square piece of paper. So once you have it lined up, fold it in half, and then take your scissors and cut off the extra paper. Do not throw away the piece of paper that you just cut off. We're going to use it later on to make some extra leaves for our project. Now that we have our paper and it is square, let's fold our paper in half like a triangle and then open up your paper and fold it in half the other way. Next, turn your paper so the point of the triangle is facing down. Then take the right corner of the triangle and fold it towards the bottom corner of the triangle. And do the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to take the right flap and fold it up just a tiny bit. Now if you look at the right side of that diamond, that little part of the paper is going to form a tiny triangle. So that's how you know that our paper is folded on the right angle. Then do the same thing on the other side. Next, fold the top part of the diamond down just a little bit. The more you fold your paper, the thicker it will get. So it's gonna get harder to crease. If you need help creasing your paper, just use the edge of a marker or a pencil. Next, fold the right and left corners of the diamond in towards the center. Then take the bottom top flap and fold it up just a tiny bit. After you're done folding that top flap, turn the paper over and do the same thing on the other side. Then take the top point of that flap and fold it down towards the edge of the paper. This is going to make the little tiger nose. Next, use your black marker to add detail on the tiger's face. You're done drawing the detail, use an orange marker or crayon to color in the tiger's face. 
take the second sheet of paper and position your tiger on the page, but do not glue it down just yet. We are going to draw the tiger's paws, tail, and background area. I'm gonna first start by drawing the paws. A curved line like a sad face, and then a scalloped line. Four little bumps on my scallops line, and then I could draw the tiger's stripes on his paws. To do this, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line from the top of the paw, down and over, and then back up to the paw. Draw one paw on the bottom left of the paper and one on the bottom right. They can even be on a slight angle. Next, let's draw some leaves that the paws are holding onto. To do this, just start your leaf on one side of the paw and then on the other side of the paw, continue that side of the leaf. Don't forget to add the detail inside of the leaves that you draw. To create a sense of space in your artwork, you might want to consider drawing some leaves or flowers that look like they're on top of other leaves or flowers or behind other leaves or flowers. To do this, you're going to need your eraser. So if you overlap a flower onto the leaf, you can erase a certain part of the flower or leaf so it looks like it's in front or behind the other. Feel free to draw different style leaves and flowers throughout your background. Also, don't forget to draw the wavy tail coming up from behind the tiger's head. Don't forget to draw two extra leaves on that scrap piece of paper that you cut off from the first. Now that you have everything drawn, go ahead and trace all your pencil marks. When you're done tracing, don't forget to erase any extra pencil marks that you might see. Go ahead and color in your background, paws, tail, and extra leaves.
and you're coloring in the area around your leaves, flowers, tail, and paws, you can place the tiger head in the area that you are going to glue it in later on. Once you place it where you want it, you can trace around the head and only color in the area around that line. When you're done coloring in the whole background, go ahead and glue your tiger head down to your paper. Then you're going to cut your extra leaves and glue them on your paper as well. These extra leaves can overlap the tiger's face just a little bit to show a sense of distance. Overlapping creates a sense of space. Things that are closer to you overlap things that are farther away. When you're all done, don't forget to sign your name on your artwork. I hope you enjoyed creating this origami, tiger, and background jungle with me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Always remember to have fun, be creative, and don't worry if you make a mistake. See you next time.